Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the view distance or render distance on your Minecraft server. However, moving forward in this video, I will be f referring to the server's basically view distance as view distance and your in-game, basically how far you can see in-game, as your render distance. So what I mean is render distance is right here. This is your render distance. View distance is on the Minecraft server. Render distance is over here. View distance is on the server. That sounds confusing, but... Here's why I'm making a point of it. On a Minecraft server, there is a view distance. That's how many chunks you can see on a server before the server just stops loading them. It won't let you load any chunks or load any additional chunks around you. However, render distance is completely separate. And if you have your render distance set to say four chunks, but the server has a render distance of 10 chunks, you'll only see four chunks. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna leave it at 32, the max, because you should never have a server that high. I'll explain why here in a moment. First and most though, we have a SMR sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft host. You can go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually don't mention Apex so much, that we also are on server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So be sure to check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown xyz slash apex to get your very own server up and running nevertheless let's go ahead and get uh well this server up and running because i want to do a baseline so we need to go ahead this is the local server it says it's offline but it's not there we go let's go ahead and join this server you'll see it join over here this is kind of our baseline this is at the default render distance for a minecraft server which is 10 we're going to drop it way lower than you ever should because I want to kind of do a proof of concept and just so you how big of a difference this can make. So we looking around, we can see this hill over here. We can see all of that stuff. Now, remember our render distance is at 32. We're not going to change it here. And we're going to go ahead and stop this server. So we're going to stop this server. And then we're going to press any key to continue and open up our server folder here. Then we want to navigate to the server.properties. You can open this in notepad like so, or you can get fancy like me and open it with the Atom text editor, which is no sponsor or anything like that, just better than looking at it. Notepad, it looks better for videos. So nevertheless, that is linked down below if you want Adam. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and change our view distance. Now this is right up here at the top for us. It is on a lot of servers, but some server.properties files may change the location of this. But as you can see, by default, it's set to 10. This is good. But if you start to notice lag on your server, one of the first things you can do is change the view distance. The lower it is, the less lag there is, right? Because each player, by default, is having 10 chunks around them being loaded. If you drop this to, let's say, 8 or 6, for a lot of survival servers, we recommend 6, right? For Skyblock servers, by the way, 4. So Skyblock servers go 4, survival servers go 6, small survival servers with, let's say, less than 5 players can go 8, right? Very rarely should you run 10 unless it's just you and maybe one other person because lag will start to be introduced if you do that. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to go insane. We're going to go to 2 right at first here just to show you how big of a difference this can make. So we're going to go ahead and save the server.properties file and close out of it. So file save and then we are going to close out of this file then we want to double click the run.bat and get this server running i'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut because there's no reason for you to sit here and wait while this server opens and i will see you when we can join it there we go the server is now live as you can see over here let's go ahead and join on into it and we'll be able to notice that view distance that we had before is uh how do i put this a lot worse, right? Those mountains over there, you can't see them. Those, you know, different hills and trees in the distance, you can't see them. That's because we've changed the server view distance. It doesn't matter what our render distance is, right? It's still at 32. We can't see anything around us, but our server is running happy. There is a way less lag at this render distance. Now let's go ahead. I'm gonna stay kind of over here on this same area just so we can see the difference and up this to what we recommend for most like bigger, let's say 50 player plus survival servers. We're gonna go ahead and update this to six. So I'm gonna go ahead, disconnect this, stop the server. I'll meet you once our server.properties file is opened. There we go, server.properties file is opened. We want to change the view distance now to six, which is like I said, what we recommend on most larger 50 plus player survival servers. If you're under, let's say about 20 players, you might be able to push eight, but overall six is a, a sweet spot. So go ahead and save this and restart the server. We'll see you once that's live. There we go, the server is now started. We'll close out of that server.properties file and we can, oh, wrong server. This is Breakdowncraft, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Look at that, Breakdowncraft survival. Nevertheless though, we wanna join into this local server here and we'll be able to see that the render distance has improved. We can see the trees over there. We can start to see that mountain. We can start to see that mountain and this is six. So I'm gonna go do uh, one more thing that you should never do. Um, <laughs> this is this might break the server just so we know, but I'm gonna go ahead and change this to 32. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna just go on quick jump cut, change everything, and I will see you once it's all done. 
So here we are, our server has started at a 32 render distance. Remember, we are only on two gigs of RAM over here, so this could be bad. Let's go ahead and jump right on into this local server and uh, see what happens. This should be native to what we will see in Minecraft at 32 render distance. Wow, that is actually absolutely incredible how much you can see. So you can see how big of an effect view distance has on a server. Uh, do keep in mind though that the higher this is, the laggier it's gonna be. You could run 32 with one player, but that's kind of all I would recommend. You are going to start getting lag very, very quickly once you start introducing more players to a server with a 32 view distance. Overall, here's what I would recommend. We'll put it up on the screen really, really fast. If a server has less than 10 players, you can leave it at 10 view distance. If a server has 10 to 50 players, you might be able to run it at 8, but you may then have to drop it to 6, which is what we recommend with 50 plus players. So 0 to 10, you should be able to leave it at 10. 10 to 50, you should be able to leave it at about 8, but I would guess around 40 players, you may have to change it to 6, which is what we recommend for large survival servers. Over 50 players, go ahead and get 6. So nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. My name is Nick, and come play with us on PlayDartBreakdownCraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.